Aloha again everyone, Mike Drew Tar, principal broker and owner of Next Home Paradise Realty in Kailua, Kona, bringing you another property tour. Do I have your attention? Look at that. Awesome pool, you got a glass railing over there. Overlooking Kahalu Beach, that is the number one snorkel beach on the big island. And right at the end there, they have a, a really gentle wave break. It's the number one wave to learn to surf on the big island of Hawaii. And I am bringing you an investment property, short-term vacation rental, three bedroom, ground floor condominium. And here's what's really important about this one. This is why you guys, this is why you guys listen. You want the inside information, you know I bring it to you every time. There's a few different ways to do short-term vacation rentals. One of them, if you have a condo, is if you have a residential multifamily zone condo and your association allows it, then you get to do short-term vacation rentals. However, your association and the owners could get together and change the CCNRs to disallow it, and now you no longer have a short-term vacation rental. What you really want, the best thing, is to be either in a resort node or have the letter V in your zoning code. Well, the beach villas at Kahalu are zoned V 1.25. That means by right you can do a short-term vacation rental. They can't take that away from you. They can't get it away and you have that forever and that's going to be very marketable as a commodity on down the road. I'm going to get inside. I'm going to show you my, tell you my three favorite things after I show you everything and the one thing I would change on this property. So we access from right up there is our parking lot, about eight or nine steps down here on the ground level. Now we're three bedrooms, which is the most that they have here. And let's take a look right inside. Immediately to your right, you have one bedroom. We have 12 by 24 tiles staggered and laid horizontally with gray grout lines. And they have an Eastern King bed in here. Actually, it might even be a double twin with the way it looks. I think, yeah, so it's actually two twins. I don't know if you can see right in between those pillows. And sometimes people set it up that way. So you can make this as a king bed or you can spread, spread them apart and have two twins. So if you have kids, it makes it a little bit flexible. We have a nightstand over here, another one on the other side. A little sheet rock, ceiling treatment, ceiling fan, recessed lights. And that faces the sunrise to the east. You got a mirrored closet door over here, helps it feel a little bit bigger. Probably looking at about a 11 by 12 room. Back in here, we're at the front door. You got your stacked washer and dryer. Definitely going to use that on vacation. One of the reasons a lot of people like these vacation rentals over houses is that you can do laundry conveniently. You can cook in here. You don't have to go eat out every meal, spending a bunch of money. And right now, restaurants are short staffed. So you go out to eat, you could have a two hour wait. Well, you don't have that when you're here in a vacation rental. So. That wall on this side here was a closet door for that bedroom. Uh, and now it's a closet for this bedroom on this side, another mirrored door, again, facing east. Pretty much the same setup. They've got a queen size bed in here. You can see you get a little bit more room on either side. So you could definitely put a king in here if you want to. There's our short-term vacation rental placard. They are registered. You do still have to let the county know that you're doing a short-term rental. I'm gonna come in here to the shared bathroom. So you do have a pocket door here. Space is at a premium. So we are at 964 square feet. So it's a little bit tight. So it's nice to see that they've taken that into account by putting things like uh, pocket doors in that space. Single basin sink over here. It looks like one of those slide-in units that you have like from Lowe's, a oh, nice tight fixture. And then of course our fan, you have to have a fan. And then in here to our shower, pretty good size. I'd say you're looking at about four and a half by three and a half. I like that they do have the faucet fixture over here to the side about two feet before you get to the shower head. So you come here, you turn it on, you're not getting sprayed with cold water, that first blast of cold water that we all love so much. And then, oh, they did a nice job with the casing on this. I like that it's not all beveled. Same thing down here with the baseboards. We got a little bit of a taller baseboard we can see in the bathroom, it looks like. Uh, good job on that, I like that. I don't know if that was original or if they fixed it that way. This was built 
in 2004. And now we're here in the living area, the main living area, well, the only living area, and the kitchen. And they've done a really nice job decorating this. So one of the things that's really important if you are getting a vacation rental property and you're gonna be renting it out, is how does it photograph? Like, how is it going to look to someone who's comparing getting a vacation rental to a hotel, getting your vacation rental to someone else's vacation rental? Um, so I like the really, the bold colors that they've done here in this little three photo set they've done of a beach. I think that's actually a Maui beach is the one I'm thinking of. And then over here to our kitchen, we got stainless on the dishwasher, white on the stove, black on the fridge. Maybe make some changes on that. Got a stainless LG microwave up top, glass fronts on the upper cabinets. We only have a couple upper cabinets right over there and more over here. Got a little bitty space to store and then we got our lower cabinets all around. On this side, I like how they have this set up because right over here, you got nested a couple uh, stools so you can sit here. That's really good. Good setup. A little bit of extra countertop space. This is kind of a weird spot, so it's nice that they extended it out just to put those things. Otherwise, you'd have to store those somewhere and space will be at a premium. And then we're coming in here to the master bedroom. A little bit larger. You can definitely feel it. So we got an Eastern King size bed in here. We got that 12 by 24 staggered tile again. We have access out to our lanai, which I'll take you to in just a second and a view of the pool and the water. All right. So this is what you're looking for right here. Got the swimming pool right out there. There's a leaky drive world famous and then all the palm trees at Kahalu beach. Let me finish up the master bedroom in here. Nice size closet. I like that they use the mirrored closet doors where they can. A little bit deep. This looks like it's about two feet deep on that closet. The, ooh, maybe a little bit of oil on that. Nothing major. You are close to the water, so you're going to have a little bit of maintenance on this one. So here's the thing. This is listed at $675,000. There is no way... The final price on this thing starts with a six. I can guarantee you. If it did, I'd buy it myself. Um, this is going to be seven something. I wouldn't be completely shocked if it went into eight. Um, if you're interested, you need to give me a call on this. Uh, today is Thursday, and they are looking at offers, I believe, next Wednesday. So you have some time to get moving, but you need to get rolling. And I'm going to come out here now to our lanai. So, wow, they got a decent sized little six person table out here. I like this setup. I like how they have the glass. I don't know if you can even see that on camera. Yeah, so that's glass right there. So you're just looking right out and you got the pool there and everything. Now, that is a really big asset for a vacation rental. You're going to be able to advertise the heck out of this thing being really close there. If you're a family and you're coming to Hawaii with kids, Man, you got to fill the hours, but boy, it can drain the pocketbook if you're not careful. Having a beach right there, having a little surf spot right there, that's huge. That's a game changer. In fact, let's go and time how long it's going to take me to walk out there. All right, let's start a timer in our walk to the beach, see how long it takes. Quick side note, right on the other side of that truck where they're doing some work is a bike share station. Hi bike. And I don't know if you guys know, I'm on the board of directors for People for Active Transportation Hawaii. And uh, we brought the, uh, the bike share to the big island. So you have a bike share station right there. You have one down at Magic Sand Beach Park. You have like three more in town. One all the way down at Brewer's Block. I think we got one over at the uh, Target. And we're growing. So some people, they'll come here and they'll stay in that thing. And they'll just use bike share to go to places uh, here on the island. All right, so here I am. I'm at Kahalu Beach Park. Now this isn't your sandy white sand beach. It's actually salt and pepper sand, as you'll see down here below. And it's a lava rock entry. There's a nice little spot to do it. 
I'm gonna stay back here, give everyone their privacy for the most part. And so you can see here in just a second, everyone getting into the water there. You got your lifeguard stand and that outer reef there kind of tampers down the waves. And so it's, it's pretty smooth and calm uh, right in here. So super popular spot, you got some shade. So if you're wanting to not be in the water, not be out in the sun, but the kids want to come play, you got space to do that. And I'm going to go in here, let's see, let's move to a different spot. And let's start zooming in a little bit from the wide angle. One thing I really love is just it's so beautiful out here in the mornings. When the sun's behind you, lighting up the water in front of you, you just see right through it. It's just great. So you got a lot of your snorkelers over here jumping in but what I call your attention to now is out there where you see the waves breaking I'm gonna zoom in a little bit more see if we can test the limits of this camera but you got people out there surfing stand-up paddleboarding there's a bunch of surf schools uh, that are out there doing their thing um, and I mean they'll get you up like you want to learn to surf and bring the kids out here and they want to say they went surfing in Hawaii this is a great spot to do it and this is all just a couple steps away from your condo at Kahalu Beach Villas or Beach Villas at Kahalu, whichever one it is. I'm actually blanking on that for the moment. And that makes it a really good vacation rental that's going to churn and burn. All right, if this is something you're interested in, down in the description below, you'll get my contact information if you want to look at properties in general. I have a web page there for you to land on for all of my YouTube fans and followers and subscribers. The three favorite things I have about this condo. Number one, I think you're probably gonna guess. They're all so closely related, but number one is the location. This is outstanding. This spot, this beach area, like talk about family friendly. This is as good as it gets on the big island. Um, I mean, the location is just awesome. Being so close to all that stuff. Just walk right out here. It's great. Number two, the V zoning code. Often overlooked are those finer details, but that's really important. Someone can't come up here with a law tomorrow that says, hey, residential multifamilies, we're changing what you can do with vacation rentals. You're, by zoning code, allowed to do vacation rentals. So that's the second thing I like best. The third thing is the pool. I think the pool setup that they have up there is awesome. I think putting the glass wall that they did there is super smart because even when you're at the pool and not at the beach, and sometimes you're really gonna wanna be at the pool and not the beach. Even when you're at the pool and not at the beach, you can kind of see it and enjoy it. And the one thing I would change, I would just change the paint inside to be honest with you. Um, some of those colors were a little bit strong. Paint is super easy. You can get a painter out there, he'll knock that out. Probably about two days. All right, so I hope you like this one. I'm Mike Drew Tark. Click like and subscribe. I'll see you again real soon.